We should be picking up the uh, transmission again uh, very shortly from them. Uh, the signal should be good, we hope. And let's uh, listen in and see if Houston's got a signal yet. I'm told that they do not have one as yet. Uh, but as soon as they do, we will go back and listen to it. That backpack that uh, Schweikert is wearing, 185 pounds of it, of course, doesn't weigh anything in the environment of space, uh, the weightless environment there. Uh, it would be quite a heavy uh, pack on Earth. It will weigh just one-sixth of that 185 pounds in the one-sixth gravity of the moon. While yesterday evening, uh, the Manned Space Center in Houston was making light of the fact they might cancel the uh, walk, or had canceled the walk by that point, uh, saying that this was not vital to the mission of Apollo uh, 9. There were many of us who were wondering what they intended to do about testing this uh, portable life support system, PLSS as it's called, if they didn't this have the This is Apollo walk. Control, it's now, 73 hours, 19 minutes. And we'll be at the Huntsville, at the Redstone, within a few seconds. We'll stand by. Redstone is a communications ship in the South Pacific. The sequence camera. Well, heck, let me take one of the radar antenna. I haven't taken one of that. Spider and Gumdrop, we have you uh, through Redstone, and we've been copying you loud and clear. Very good, uh, Houston. Everything, everything's going on fine up here. Uh, Rog, we copied you all to Cross Carnarvon and Huntsville real well. We've been following you, and it sounds great. Sounds great. Okay. Do you, have any, do you have anything special that you want done in this uh, pass? That is the voice of Jimmy Jones, uh, the commander. Uh, no, unless you wanted to poke the TV camera out there. I'm not sure we can get that configured that quickly. Yeah, uh, Rod, understand. Yeah, Rod, understand. Did you take it for more movies? I will, as soon as he passes the camera out to you. Okay. Jim, you ready for this camera? Yeah. Okay, uh, haul away. It's running. Dave, you want to get a picture of this relay here? Uh, it's too late. I'm taking it. Okay. This is really marvelous uh, communication, being able to listen in on these men at work. Right in. And fire yeah, and gum drop, this is Houston. Uh, you're, you're clear to do anything, uh, anything uh, go as far as you want. Go as far as you want. Uh, Houston, you cut up on that one. Uh, say that again. Uh, Rod, just to let Rod, you know that it sounds great, and you're clear to go as far as you want to, as far as work is done. Okay. How about the time limit? How are you feeling, Rusty? Good, fine. Schweiker says he's feeling Houston, fine. Do you want to go ahead and, and try to run the thing for the two day passes and the one night pass? Looks like uh, we might be able to do that for you. Uh, Jim, that's uh, your Jim, decision. That's uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's up to you. It's, it's all go with all us. Go okay, the thing that bothers me is uh, if it does, we may have to reconsider how we're going to do that rendezvous tomorrow. We're going to have to get some sleep here sometime. Uh, Rod, we copy. Rod, we copy. Well, think it over and see what you decide. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you go. Most of that is between, uh, Jim McDivitt in the lunar module and Stuart Rusa, the capsule communicator, at Houston. Uh, Houston, uh, Gumdrop calling. How do you read? Go, Gumdrop. Go, Gumdrop. Uh, we do? But I can't really tell when the jets are firing, and uh, it's sort of hard for me to tell on the quantity. You heard that. Okay, Rusty, why don't you start hauling it out again? Okay, coming out. Hey, uh, how about giving Houston a call and asking him about this? Okay. Uh, Houston, uh, how do you read the plan? 
Place you're coming in loud and clear. Uh, it keeps slipping, Jim. You're going to have to help the uh, cable come out a little. Okay, well, okay. let me come up closer. Come on. Hey, man, I got it. I'll just come up closer here. Okay, I got it now. We're talking about the press, the communication. Come drop this. Very little propeller. Real good. Real good. Okay, Jim, we got it. Okay, Jim, thank you. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, okay, and Spider, this is Houston. We're recommending that you terminate at the end of this daylight pass. Okay, I sort of felt that way too. I don't think we're going to try that transfer for sure. All right, we'll terminate here. Okay, Dave, come on out. Okay. I'm going to let the camera run here. Uh, Dave, come on out wherever you are. Stand by. Let me uh, put away my little push button. We're talking about Dave Scott uh, sticking his head out of the command module. Yeah, we're all taking pictures of everybody taking pictures. Yeah, you want to retrieve the sample? Uh, right, that's a good idea. And gum drop, like you'll be getting a apart. warning on your H2 tank. Hey, Rusty, why don't you lean over here again? I'd sure like to get a picture of that whole scene. Okay, coming over. Gum drop, you'll be getting a warning in about four minutes on your H2 tank. No sweat. This is Houston. You may be okay. getting a warning uh, on your H2 tank. No problem. Okay, uh, you ready for... Okay, you ready? Thermal samples here. Ready. Second, Dave, let me get around here where I can get a picture, too. Okay. Come drop, Houston. Shoot, oh dear. Come drop, you see, Dave. Okay. Are you ready? See? Now use your head when you're out there, you know. This isn't a contest between you and that sample. All right. Come drop, Houston, anticipate a warning. Uh, very soon on your H2 tank. Okay, and you want to hook it in the solid ring, David, rather than that uh, wire. Come drop, you reach Houston. Okay. Come drop, you reach Houston. At this point, David Scott is just, uh, you hear Rusty Schweiker saying there's California. They're just passing over the coast uh, at about the border of North, uh, of California, oh, northern Mexico. Oh, yeah. Get some more film going across Baja here. It is daylight now, and they'll be passing over Texas, not too far from their homes in Houston, Texas, but 153 miles high in the environment of space. Swiker's heart rate 77. 
one place that's not too hard to A little bit above normal for Rusty Schweikert, although he's standing out there where few men have ever been. Rusty Schweikert uh, making a spacewalk. David Scott outside of the command module part way, standing in the hatch, and the flight of Apollo 9 goes on. This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News Space Headquarters, New York. This has been a CBS News special report, The Flight of Apollo 9, brought to you by Western Electric, manufacturing and supply unit of the Bell System, as part of our continuing coverage of important news events. This is CBS.